guys, Rival Boss here, and today is Game of Thrones, the final episode. Can they fix all the things they've messed up this season? <laughs> Probably not. So anyway, we have a new image here today I'm going to boot up for you. This is from the same guy that did, um, he did a couple uh, images on my, 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 my YouTube page. I, the Dynamic Duel has come out with a newer version of his image uh, called the Dynamic Elite. And we're going to boot it up here. Now, this is the first time for me booting it up, so we're going to go through the entire process of getting this thing up and running, hopefully. But what I will tell you is he are, already has pre, uh, pre-set up controls, just like my image. So really quickly, I'm going to show you kind of what you have to do to get rid of this. So first, we're just going to enter our config, up, down, left, right, start, select... A, B, X, Y, left shoulder, right shoulder, skip the rest. Um, and basically what you have to do is uh, you're going to have to delete this config folder. So what you're going to need to do, my image, by the way, won't even have this part because it's just already hard burned into it. Um, but he does have a custom one set up in here that we have to get rid of. So what you're going to want to do right away is you're going to want to get yourself a keyboard and plug it into your Raspberry Pi. Okay, okay. so then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find uh, the, and we're going to talk about this image in a little bit, it's so pretty, but we're going to go to um, options right now, okay? So in options, so we're going to want to set up our Wi-Fi, this is, this is what it says Wi-Fi down here, um, and I'm going to edit out the part that has my actual IP in it, but we're going to kind of go through it. now. When it first comes up and it says that you don't have a country set, you're going to want to say, yes, I'm going to want to run my thing. You're going to go down to the network options, okay? You're going to go to uh, Wi-Fi. And then you're going to pick your, you're going to press U to go to use, and then you're going to go up a little bit. And you're going to find the United States. You're going to pick that. Your Wi-Fi has been set to the U.S., so now you actually have Wi-Fi. At this point, you can cancel out of this. Okay, and uh, now we can go to uh, the Wi-Fi. Oh, wait. My bad. Wrong one. Uh, and while we're also in here, we're going to go down to Advanced Options. And we're going to go down to the Resolution. And I was, everybody's been like, oh, how do you set the resolution? Well, you go into here, and then you go down to this 5x4, 12 by that one basically you're you're setting it for this arcade one up machine and that's how you always set these things up so now that we've now that we've set a country everybody's like well how do we get to the setup of the wi-fi i'll show you so we're going to go finish we're going to reboot it real quick and it's going to reboot the game again now this time um, i'm going to cover up the speaker just so it's not so loud um but, th so we had to set a country of origin first before we could connect our Wi-Fi. And uh, that's why we did that. Um, mine, uh, is, so if you want to delete the config, and what we're doing this for basically is the, the gist of it, is that we want to connect to it with our computer. So we wanted to connect the Pi to our network. And uh, default-wise, this image doesn't have a, a, a country set. Mine does have a country set, by the way. So all you have to do is actually just pick Wi-Fi, I believe. I believe it saves that uh, when you burn an image. But we'll find out here. So now that we've uh, set our country of origin, we are now going to be able to go down and go to our options, go to Wi-Fi, and now this time it will probably look a little bit different. Ta da! Connect to network. So now we can connect to network. We we have our trusty keyboard here, okay? And we find our network. And this is the part I'll probably blank out, by the way. Uh, so from this point on, you're just gonna basically pick your network, which is mine is Rival Boss, and then you're going to go ahead and type in all your passwords and stuff. Okay, so now we've connected to the network and we've also changed our ratio. So now we're going to go over to the PC and we're going to delete that config. Okay, so we're just going to freehand this real quick. So now that we've uh, connected the uh, Pi to our network, 
we're just gonna come over here and we're gonna type in the IP address up here on the top, okay, if you haven't, but I already have, so it's gonna show up in my inventory or my network over here. And then we're gonna go to the config folder of that, okay? And then we're gonna go to the all and the RetroArch Joypads. And this right here, we're gonna delete this file. This dragon, fire, rise, whatever. We're gonna get rid of that, okay? And that's what we do, okay? So that's all we had to do on our computer to get rid of that config file. Uh, mine, same thing, my image, you'll just go in there, go to the all, and delete the, uh, the config folder. You can also get rid of some other overlay, you can get rid of overlays in here, if there's specific configs, you just delete them so they re-manufacture when you boot it up. So anyway, that's all we have to do over here. So now we're going to go back over to the Pi. So now that we're over on the Pi, this is our, we, we haven't done anything other than getting connecting to it with our computer and then deleting that. So now we're going to go back out and we're going to restart the system. So we're going to hit the start button, we're going to go down to quit, and we're going to go to restart the system. And restart it. Okay, and we're back. So after System Reboot, you'll also notice I turned on the music. Uh, that music didn't come on until I rebooted. Uh, that was basically in background music right up here. I just turned it on. I just like the background music. Almost forgot, guys, by the way. Since we deleted our config folder, we need to make a new one. So you're going to go to Hit Start, go down to Configure Input, Yes, Hold A, and Redo Your Inputs real quick. It's important, otherwise it's not going to work in the emulators. Okay, so now that we've turned on our music, we have one more thing to do with this image, and I'll show you what it is. Okay, so when you go in one of these folders, he has it set up where it has this very large video for whatever you're looking at. Now, if you're okay with that, you can just keep it like this because it, you have a very nice big video. It doesn't fit in the box quite right, and that's because this is made for a six by nine. There's no buts about it. You can't change it from what my, my knowledge anyway. Please leave a comment in the, the, uh, the uh, comments below if you know how to change this. Uh, but I believe it's because of his formatting when he was making this. Uh, it doesn't fit in right for the, uh, the ratio of our screen. But we can fix it at least where we can see all the names. Because right now we can't even see all the names over here. Uh, and I mean, honestly, you can just scroll like this and see the names up here. I love how they have freaking MechWarrior, by the way, for Metalhead. I love MechWarrior, by the way. That's, that's a no-no. That's disgrace for MechWarrior. Anyway, uh, but yeah. So the way you can at least see all the names, you'll lose the videos and you'll lose these pretty little images. But I'll show you what it will do. So we go back out to the main menu and we're going to hit start and we're going to go down to UI settings. Down here, we're going to change this to basic. Also, really quickly, I changed it to uh, detailed afterwards and I actually like it detailed better because at least the names are now on this side and now you have this nice big, you know, all the names over there. So I say instead of basic, run detailed. Detailed looks way better. For the arcade one up and then run auto for you know your 16 by 9 screens but this is really neat i like all the images over here as far as all the names go and you can just quickly get through these things okay and lastly everybody always wonders how to get rid of the, the easiest way to get rid of bezels okay is to go into the config editor almost every image you're going to find has a config editor go into that okay it's going to boot up something that looks like this then you're going to go to configure basic Libro emulation options, okay? Just like that. Uh, I'm going to use my keyboard, actually. And then we're going to go down here to configure default options for all Libro emulators. Now, this is, this is what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to change the aspect ratio to your desired aspect ratio, 5x4, okay? Then you're going to want to change your render type. I would recommend going to... Uh, video output resolution okay and then you're going to change your shaders this is the bezels to false shader file you can just leave overlay enable turn that off as well okay now if you want uh shaders would be like scan lines if you want to download scanner uh things you can 
but this is just to have no none of that stuff on there. And then you would just cancel back out, cancel back out. But yeah, that's all you have to do, guys. And then you just exit out. Now all the bezels are gone. That easy. Or at least they should be. <laughs> So we will go over the image uh, as far as like what it looks like when you set it in detailed mode. Uh, but I do want to show you one other thing I've never showed you guys yet. And you guys probably already know how to do this, but I'm going to show you anyway in this video. Uh, so if you, if you ever have a theme that doesn't quite work well with the Arcade 1UP, what you should do is you should go to Options, and usually you're going to find uh, something that says like Emulation uh, Station Themes. Uh, I recommend downloading yourself a couple themes. Um, I'll download one real quickly just to show you. When it boots up, you're going to have a list of themes, okay? Uh, there is a website I will put in the description that shows what all of these look like. But uh, quickly, I'm just going to show you guys. I'm going to download one here. Um, we'll do this Trani, Trani Fram one here. Um, so we're going to actually, no, we're going to keep going. Uh, but I did find one that worked really well with this image. Uh, and I will show you, like, here's a comic book four by three. Okay. Um, but, uh, let's see here. Let's do, uh, down here towards the bottom. There is one called Hursley Spin, okay? We're going to download that one. This isn't the one actually, uh, this is just kind of showing you how it goes. Now you have to make sure that your, your computer is connected to the Wi-Fi before doing this, okay? Uh, so connect your Pi to your Wi-Fi and then you can download. Once you're done, you just hit cancel. And I'm going to show you guys which one I really feel is a good one. So once you've now downloaded your themes, you're going to hit your start button and you're going to go to your UI settings, okay? And uh, we'll show you the one that I downloaded real quickly first, the Hursley Spin, okay? Uh, this might take a little bit of time, so we're going to pick it and then we're going to back out of the menu. And it's going to take a little bit. It's going to act like something froze. We're going to now hit the back button and there you go. There's the, the one we just downloaded. Uh, looks pretty good, right? Let's see. Let's go into 32X. Now, because of how he formatted the things, you'll see the picture for each of the, the images that we do. This is, this is why he, he formatted by 6x3. By so this image right here is a 16x9. Uh, I mean, 16x9. I don't know what I was saying. 16x9. So it's impossible to fix it on the Arcade 1UP. But it works great on your TV. But uh, this one's not too bad, uh, and as you can see, we can see all the games. Now we're going to change it back to from detailed. We're going to go back to that automatic and back out. It's going to take a little bit of time again. As you can see, there we go. Back out one more time. And now we're going to have, when we select one of these, we should have a video. Let's see. There we go. So now we have our videos working and we have the names. And we do have cool little animations. Uh, that image will be displayed instead of like the name. It's still pretty neat. Uh, I'll show you an image real quick. I also downloaded another one in here. In your UI settings, look for, it's towards the bottom. There's one going to be called, I downloaded a couple just to try to see what fit best in here. A uh, comic crazy is really good. Uh, this one is kind of like the Retrorama a little bit. It's uh, slightly different and I think it works really well with this image. So if you want to use Comic Crazy, uh, you're just going to go and download the Comic Crazy and then we're going to do this one live. This is how long it normally takes to swap over. Uh, you just kind of keep hitting back every once in a while. There it goes. Um, so this I feel looks really good with this, this image. And you still got the little pictures, but it just kind of, it flows really well together, I feel. Um, so we're going to go like your Super Nintendo. See, and you got your Chrono Trigger, your Contra. So it's real nice, you know? Um, so real quickly, guys, uh, we're going to start reviewing the actual image now and seeing what's on here. Um, 
I just want to thank you guys so much, by the way, for liking and subscribing to the channel. It's really helping up. We're going to do something special at 1,500 subs, so if you want to like and subscribe to get us there, I'll think of something really fun to do. Uh, and I'm also I'm working on an improved image that I'm also going to be releasing. Uh, so anyway, so now comes the uh, review part of this, and let's see what's on this image. Now, this is only a 32 gig image. Uh, we are also going to switch back to the original theme real quick, just to kind of show you. Uh, so this is a, uh, the Domino, Domino Elite. And, uh, oops, I should have changed that also. We're going to change it. Actually, we'll leave it. We'll leave it on automatic. Just to kind of show you guys. On the 16 by 9 uh, it would look fine, but we can still see all the most of the games here. So let's start at the very beginning. 32x. I really, really like how this is displayed. I wish I could get the full thing working, like once we get into the actual ROMs. It's so pretty. I love this display. I hope more people do this where you can see all the games on the side here. Uh, there isn't. This is only a 32 gig image, like I was saying. There isn't quite as many, uh, and like I said, if this was if this was just if this video fit in there, it would look great on this cab. But unfortunately, this there's a, a, a problem here. But we're just gonna let's see. He does beautiful animations for all of these uh, these different things. Some of them are funny. Some of them are classic. Uh, but yeah, he, he took the time to make one for each one of these. So there's this is a very handcrafted image as you can see which is a real bummer that is it fits on a tv great doesn't fit on the arcade one up um but yeah you run the comic comic crazy one and you'll be a pretty pretty happy with it uh we got sega cd so we got some good ones let's see we got snatcher in there we got uh, sonic cd one of the best sonic games you've ever can play if you haven't played sonic cd it's like nothing else you go back in future you go forward in future uh, if you do things in the past and do find uh, items, you can affect the future either badly or goodly. It's really cool. If you never played Sonic CD, you should play Sonic CD. Dark Wizard also. Dark Wizard is amazing. Uh, there's your Snatcher. I like his Snatcher photo. Sonic CD, one of the best CDs. Uh, let's uh, Monkey Island. I just want to see real quick. Yeah, Dark Wizard, by the way. This is a really cool uh, action, well, not action, strategy game. And if you're okay with, like, not the most elaborate battle config, you know, like, graphics, this game is really good. I highly recommend Dark Wizard. Um, so we're going to go out of here real quick. Uh, we got your Super Famicom. We got a whole bunch of good ones there. Star Ocean, I see. Uh, we got your SG-1000. Uh, like I said, these are more like custom fit for them. There's not a ton of actual ROMs in here, but what you do get is premium quality stuff. Uh, your Super Nintendo, like here we got Killer Instinct, Zelda, Final Fantasy II, Super Metroid, you know, Turtles in Time, basically everything you'd want uh, on the Super Nintendo for sure. And each one of these images, if you're on a uh, TV, will look great. It, um, Otherwise, you're going to want to run one of the other um, the other themes. But, I mean, look at that. That's from the new Killer Instinct game. It's so good. Uh, Turbo Graphic, we've got all games, of course. We came back around, and it just shows you all the systems, which is pretty neat. Last Played, you can kind of see uh, his, what he played last. I actually know this is what I played last. I was checking out some of those. That's cool. So that is working. Uh, you got your arcades, and I love how this shows you all the classic uh, logos for the arcade um, machines. And then you go in, you can look at all these pretty pictures that he's put together. A lot of these look like they're either box art or his own thing, which is really awesome. Like, look at Altered Beast. That is awesome, guys. Come on. Um... That's like from World of Tanks. That's hilarious for Battlezone. That's another Mech Warrior. He must like Mech Warrior. Or he's just Googling cool looking images. Um, you got 2600. You got all of your favorite Joust and stuff like that. Defender, Miss Pac Man, uh, Adventure, Asteroids. Yeah, I mean, they're all here. Another World of Tanks thing. Uh, yeah, Centipede. Oh, I love that. I love the, <laughs> I love the Pokemon for Centipede. 7800. Yeah, it's a 7800. 
family uh, family computer. You got some yeah, uh, basically Japanese NES. Uh, game Gear, you got a lot of nice Game Gear games there. Shinobi. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog Triple Trouble is really good. Game Boy, you got your League's Awakening if you can't wait to, for the remake. Uh, and I'm going to probably play the Super Mario Land 2 later. I mean, I, I'm i hyped for that. Oh, I love he's got the puke green for the backgrounds here. This is great. Wow, what a cool image. Just premium stuff. Uh, you know, so, uh, Metroid Zero uh, Mission, Fusion, uh, Four Swords, uh, the Minish Cap. Uh, Advance Wars is awesome if you've never tried out Advance Wars. Um, but yeah, just what a pretty image. Uh, Game Gear Color. Or I'm sorry, Game Gear. Game Boy Color. They never, uh, Game Gear Color is just Game Gear. Now, here's a weird thing. I, I don't know... They use a lot of the uh, names from the Genesis here. This is Sonic the Hedgehog 2, but it's it's not that Sonic the Hedgehog 2, if that makes sense. But it's kind of a neat use. Master System. Uh, does he have Golden Axe Warrior? Unfortunately, I can't tell back there. That's what I always check for, for a good image as far as a uh, uh, Sega Master System. I can't tell. It's not on here, though, so... hmm. Uh, then you got your Genesis, uh, Contra Corpse, that's going to be, so the new uh, uh, Sega Genesis Mini's coming out, and there's going to be a lot of these Contra games on there, the Golden Axe is on there, um, what else, uh, Met, uh, uh, Castlevania Bloodlines is going to be on there, uh, Comic Zone's going to be on there, so yeah, a bunch of good, uh, good ones, and look at all these pretty, pretty art that he made for all of these images, it's so pretty. I say pretty. Neo Geo, you got all of your metal slugs. Let's see what he does for the metal slugs, if we can get there. Uh, look at the Blazing Force. That's awesome. Or Blazing Star. I don't know what the heck I'm saying. Last Resort's a really good shoot him, by the way. So, yeah, I mean, here's all the metal slugs. Oh, he uses the original box art. That's really cool for the uh, carts. Uh, NES, you got all your favorites, Duck Hunt, Metroid, Zelda, let's see, let's go to right to Zelda, shall we? Blaster Master, look at all this pretty art, Bionic Commando, Link's Awakening, Legend of Zelda, I love that picture, I love that picture, this is really good, um, man, I'm probably gonna put this on just a Raspberry Pi connected to a TV, I think, because it's so nice, I highly recommend this image for a TV. Not really for the arcade one up unless you're gonna just run a different theme. But man, this is a great plug and play image. Uh, he used that again for uh, for uh, TV though. PlayStation, you've got a bunch of good ones. Silent Hill. I'm gonna go back to the main screen here just so you can see. Shikinden 2. There you go. Final Fantasy 7. Uh, Castlevania, Metal Gear Solid bunch of really good ones uh real quick the only other funny thing i noticed let me see if i can find it here uh in game boy advance so you'll see it says it has final fantasy 6 advance uh, i was like stoked for that i'm like oh man i'm gonna play final fantasy 6 it is not 6 it is final fantasy 4 where is that yeah it says it's 6 you boot it up i'll show you right now by the way, uh, it also has these nice custom loading screens for all of them. I should have been showing you guys that too. They always show all the, basically the ROMs, the console in the background, and it's got this nice custom thing. And since we disabled bezels, there are no bezels on any of our systems right now. Yay! And yeah, but I was like, oh man, I'm playing me from Final Fantasy VI. Oh, it's going to be freaking awesome. That game's awesome. I wish they remade that one as well. Uh, Seven's getting a remake, guys. That's going to be awesome. And I'm like, oh, wait, wait. That's not right. Oh, they put the eye on the other end. It's Final Fantasy IV. But anyway. <laughs> uh, I just thought that was funny. But uh, yeah, this game, uh, I mean, this image is beautiful. I highly recommend uh, you either are going to run this on a TV uh, Pi setup. Uh, preferably, probably you want to also set up the Bluetooth in. 
in here, uh, connect a PS3 controller to it so you can just sit back, relax on your couch, on your big screen, 16 by 9 uh, TV, and play some games. So again, guys, uh, thank you very much. I mean, I just boot this thing into custom screensavers. Um, so, you know, uh, thank you so much for checking out the channel. Uh, I'm going to put all how to download this uh, image uh, in the description. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe and check us out next time. I'm also going to do a Vita thing pretty soon. I got all three Vitas. I'm excited to do a video on Vita. I love Vita, especially now that they're all hacked. Uh, it's cool. Uh, so anyway, until next time, this is the Rival Boss, signing off. Peace.